Uh, justified Accord is a multinational exercise uh, that have a number of countries, but for the purpose of these few training exercises, we are only having uh, four countries participating, that is the Kenya Defense Forces. Uh, we have a troop from Djibouti, troops from Uganda, Rwanda, and United States Army. So you want to get that identification? The overall goal is to prepare multinational uh, partners in response to regional security facing Africa. And as a side effect also share tactical knowledge, medical capability and just uh, form this one umbrella of how we would respond to crisis, uh, enhance regional security, share medical knowledge in how to treat our warriors uh, and return them to the battlefield as we um, go on with the engagements. The Justified Accord is a 10 day uh, few training exercise. And this is just one phase of the Justified Accord exercise. It's a multinational and uh, we have other exercises in Nairobi in, and also in other countries like Uganda. So here purposely we are concerned with the phase of field training exercise. We are having uh, various uh, multinationals uh, conducting under uh, various scenarios. And therefore, like today, uh, we are having uh, Medicamp, urban operations, counter-ID uh, skills, uh, just to ensure that our troops are operational ready. Aside from interoperability, the other key aspect of it is crisis response um, in, when it comes to humanitarian crisis. And a good example is Turkey with the earthquake that just happened. Um, there's a joint multinational um, effort um, to help save lives and, and restore the country back to where it was. Um, and this gives a good example to, in case such a thing happens in Africa, the U.S. is a reliable partner um, in, in these types of operations uh, and, and Kenya can rely on the U.S. as a partner. Uh, there are also other uh, important things that like uh, looking at humanitarian issues. There is that phase that uh, we are going to conduct civic activities so that we can be able to alleviate uh, suffering, uh, human suffering in some areas. So we'll be conducting medi medical uh, cap uh, within this exercise and uh, we are planning to do some need assessment so that we'll be able uh, to deliver. Uh, regional security uh, is definitely topmost. Um, democracy is, 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 is a way of life that uh, I think everyone has a choice and, and, and that goes hand in hand with security. So I, I think from an interoperability perspective, uh, regional security is a top line of effort for, uh, for the U.S. and making sure that um, our partner nations are safe to conduct their day-to-day -day activities. If we look at Kenya as a whole, um, and I'll bring it home, uh, Kenya faces threat to the Al-Shabaab um, and, and Kenya has current operations in, Al in, in Somalia and, and bring it back to interoperability, how can we um, enhance response to, to, to such a threat because Al-Shabaab poses a global um, threat to the, uh, to the world. And this is something that we need a unified approach from both African partners, European partners in America, um, in order to, to ensure we have a safe continent um, for the locals and also for the globe.